I've switched places again. Um, so if the lighting is off or anything like that, I'm still trying to work it out. So one of the things I wanted to do, which I think everybody should know how to do, is just a really traditional smoky eye. But I opted to go with green because I love green. Um, but you can use any color family that you'd like to use. Um, just with the color placement and everything is usually what the smoky eye is. And the biggest trick is to blend, blend, blend. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it's something that you're interested in learning. And here's what I did. So I've already used my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my lid. Now I'm going to use a creamy yellow color. It's right here. It's near skin tone. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid and up to my brow bone. This shadow base is going to help make it easier to blend the next colors that you're going to be placing on top. I'm going to use that same color for just underneath my lash line. And I'm going to be using a MAC 217. And you can see the color right here. It's just a light olive. And I'm just going to pull that through my crease. And about three quarters in, you want to try and keep the front half of this just lighter. And don't worry about the fallout, we will take care of that later. And really the key to a nice smoky eye is the blending. So you just want to keep all of the edges of the colors blended out nicely. That's this foresty green right here on that same brush. And then I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer V. So that's right here. Then I'm holding the brush a little bit closer to the end for more control and more color movement and I'm just going to use little circular motions right on the outer V and then up here I'm going to change it to windshield wiper motions to blend everything together. So after we build up the color that you want to do with the green or black or blue or purple or whatever you're using, um, now I'm just going to clean up underneath the eyes. where I'll So first I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to brush off whatever I can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foundation brush that I used earlier and it still has a little bit of foundation on it and I'm going to use it to wipe away whatever extra I can. Now what I want to do is take just an angled brush into that first lighter olive color and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Just right up against the lashes. Now I'm going to be taking that same angled brush into just the matte black eyeshadow and I'm going to run that along my upper lash line and just smoke that out a little bit at the end. And now I'm going to be taking a black gel liner on a flat liner brush just right into that and I'm going to be pushing that into my waterline and also my tight line. I'm going to set the gel liner with the black matte shadow again. And I'm going to be using a very volumizing mascara. Okay, so that's it. This is how it turned out. I hope that you all enjoy the tutorial and I hope that you learned something with it. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's super easy, just a really basic type of tutorial. So yeah, I hope that you liked it. And if you have any requests at all, please let me know. Any questions, comments, or anything, just leave them down below. A list of all of the products I used will be on my blog at GourmetGlitterati.com. Please subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.